Earlier we have worked with the weather data by location. Now in this lesson, we're going to work with the weather data by city name. When the user will tap this search icon, then he will see the pop-up where he can type the city name and then the weather data has been changed according to the city name. So first of all, we'll go to the weather page XAML file. And there, let's get a clicked event of this image button. Now in the code behind file, we'll go to this clicked event and there we'll use the display prompt async and this display prompt async is basically a pop-up which will be used to accept the input from the user. Let's add the await and async keywords. Okay, this display prompt async will take many parameters, but all of them are optional except the title and the message. We don't need the title and message, so we'll add the title colon and just pass empty string. Similarly, in the message, we'll pass empty string as well. Now in the placeholder, let's add search weather by city. All right. This display prompt async will contain two buttons, accept and cancel. If you want to change the text of these buttons, then you can change it accordingly. Let's say we want to change the text of this accept button. So we'll pass search here. And we don't need to change the cancel button text. So we'll just pass cancel here. All right, now let's store the result in a variable and we name it response. Then we'll check if the response is not null, then add a breakpoint along with this if condition and simply run this application. Okay, now press the search icon and we'll see this pop-up. Let's add something in the pop-up And when we press this search option, then our breakpoint will be triggered and we'll see the text here which we have typed in the pop-up. Okay, let's stop this application and remove the breakpoint. Now inside this if block, we'll add the code to get the weather data. Earlier we have used this code to get the weather data by location. Now we want to get the weather data by city name. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll copy this weather data method for location. And paste it here. Now we'll change the name to get weather data by city. And inside this method, we'll just pass one parameter of type string and we name it city. Then instead of this get weather, we'll call the get weather city method along with the API service class and pass the city. Now inside this if block, we'll just call the get weather data by city method and don't forget to add the await. Now this code will work, but take a look at this. There is a repetition in our code. For example, the code which is present in the get weather data by location is similar to this one which we have used in the get weather data by city. So what we're gonna do is we'll add another method and name it update UI. Then in this method, we'll add a parameter of type dynamic and name it result. We have set the type dynamic because we don't know the type of the response which we'll get from the API. If you will hover the mouse cursor on this variable result, then it shows the type which is root class. But we'll go ahead with the dynamic type. Basically dynamic types are used when we don't know the type. Okay. You can also use the root here in the update UI method. Then we'll simply cut this code from the get weather data by location method. 
and paste it in the update UI method. And we'll remove this code from the get weather data by city. All right. Then we'll call the update UI method in the get weather data by location. And pass this result. Similarly, we'll also call this update UI method in the get weather data by city and pass this result. Alright, now let's run this application. Here on the device, we'll see the weather data. Now, if we'll tap the search icon and search for some city, then we'll get the weather according to our search. Alright, that's awesome. Now let's say we want to go back to my current weather. So I'll just tap this your location and boom, here we go. We'll get the current weather data. Okay, that's all from this lesson. Now I'll see you in the next one.